Hi guys, today I'm going to test the text signal pickup from MSD that you can see here together with the data acquisition system from yourdyno.com. So this pickup costs about $60, so quite reasonably priced, and this can be used in the cases where you test engines that don't have OBD2 support. So of course when you test regular cars, you could just use a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter to get engine RPM, but not all engines support OBD2. In that case you can use a, a pickup like this. So uh, to configure this in your dyno, I'll show you what to do. So here in RPM setup, uh, you have various options to get uh, the engine. Uh, you can use the TACO, for example. You can um, uh, set on a certain uh, RPM and you click uh, lock gear ratio, or of course you can use OBD2, which we don't have in this case. But we are going to instead configure the second RPM input of your dyno to read the engine RPM directly. In that case, you will need to put a number here, and this is either 1 for a 2-stroke engine or 0 0.5 for um, a 4-stroke engine. Some 4-stroke engines have this wasted spark, and in that case you need to put a 1 here. So this pickup works from... Um, 5 to 24 volts according to the spec here. So I tested it uh, by connecting it directly to your dyno and it just didn't work. So this uh, 5 volt here, that's uh, unfortunately not true. I did test it again, I will show you. Uh, at 12 volt and at 12 volt it is very stable. So um, unfortunately it doesn't work at 5 volts, but it's okay. It works at 12 volt. Uh, at 12 volt you will need a small interface board. And this is one that you can use. It only costs five dollars. So this is, in addition to translating between 12 and 5 volts, it also uh, provides uh, isolation. This is an opto isolator, so it's very nice for noise purposes. So that's the one to go for. Okay, let's test it. All right, guys. So I'm ready to test the RPM adapter. So as I mentioned, we need a small, uh, small interface board here. This is just a transistor. There is an off-the-shelf optocoupler that uh, is better to use. This was just one that I had laying around. The signal goes straight into your dyno here, and then uh, 12 volts come from here. And here we have the cable to the RPM adapter. And as you can see, it is connected down here, uh, just on one of the primary cables uh, to one of the coils of my, my little race car here. So let's start it up and see how it how it goes. Pretty good, right? I think it looks very stable.